Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. I'm here in downtown Chicago. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here. And I'm here with Haley and Sloan and they're my brother's daughters. And we're really having a good time as people walk right in front of the camera. Thank you. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here with Haley and Sloan. And these are my brother's children, his two daughters. And they're just lovely and they're lots of fun. Now, August is going to be a very exciting month. We're going to have a new moon on the 6th. And following that, there's going to be an opposition of Jupiter and Pluto, which can really shake things up. Then later in the month, Jupiter will square Uranus. Another exciting aspect. Now, here's what all that means for your sign. There's a new moon in Leo on August 6th. Libra, the new moon on August 6th falls in your 11th house of friends and associations, and it's in the sign of Leo, which is good for you. Yes, so this is an excellent time to step out on the town and to show everybody your talent for public relations. Go to parties, group meetings, and business seminars. Bring your creativity and your ability in public relations in your little black bag of magic. If you're involved in a creative project, especially with other people, you may be given the leading role. Jupiter is in opposition to Pluto on August 7th. Jupiter in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn. This is a major aspect that can bring challenging, earth-shaking, and long-term effects on the educational, political, financial, and legal systems. It represents power plays, the manipulation of money and people, and legal reform. Scandals can be revealed and there is retribution for those who have misused power. There can be scientific breakthroughs and great gains for those people who have spoken and stood behind their truth. Libra, Jupiter in Cancer is in your 10th house and it's in opposition to Pluto in your fourth house. Now you are seeking a sense of power and recognition that can bring some positive long-term opportunities into your career or social situation. This is a time for you to show the world that you can achieve, so perform at your highest level and brush elbows with those in power. However, you may be challenged from the very depths of your being to prove that this is really what you want. Look at your family and the importance that they hold in your life. Your emotional foundations have been built on the reality of love. Your career has not. Balance the importance between love and success. Jupiter squares Uranus on August 22nd. Now this is a challenging aspect between usually two friendly energies. It can suggest a time of impracticality and willful activity. You may want to have a wild fling, but don't think it will last forever, because it won't. You'll be disappointed. Remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So keep an open mind, but keep yourself in line a little bit, keeping a little control. Now you can expect the unexpected to occur, but just be careful when it comes to excessive action and money. Libra, Jupiter in Cancer in your 10th house, squares Uranus in Aries in your 7th house. Now you're excited about the opportunities you see all around you. You feel you can handle more responsibility and that this is your turn to make your mark in the world. Power and fame are calling to you. However, the square to Uranus in your seventh house suggests that not everyone is seeing the same outcome that you are. You must be willing to compromise and cooperate with others or you might get knocked off a shaky throne. Success can come suddenly but how long will it last? 
Your ideas must have benefit to other people for them to have a lasting effect. These predictions were based on your sun sign, and if you'd like more accurate information, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you can find a way to order a transit chart, which is based on your time, date, and place of birth, and it's personalized for you for the next 12 months. Now, on behalf of Haley and Sloan, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Make sure you like this video, and please feel free to share it with your friends because it's free. It's like everything here on YouTube. So have a great month.